<laughs> Hello, my name is Sean Awesome, and today I'll be singing Try Song or the 11th part of the album The Pros and Cons of Hitchhiking. Now, before I start, I have to talk about this song because uh, it, that line is rather distracting. Because it has deep meaning for me. It is the fact w why I decided to do this whole album is because I wanted to do this song. It's about Well, first, the title is Every Stranger's Eyes. And for me, it has very real meaning. Ah, uh, everywhere I go, I see uh, people of course, I see people, but you see, their eyes show what they see. And I always see, uh, I always see myself as being like regular, like any of you, like able to walk and do all these things. Uh, and when I look at them, I a guy in a wheelchair the truth and that really hurts me everywhere I go I see the same thing and remember logic doesn't play a huge role here. I... I think that people's eyes show the truth. And uh, I find a regular, uh, um, what am I saying? I find a woman my Mrs. Wright, who uh, who come on what was I thinking who sees on 
all regular guy like what I see in myself and then I I meet her love her whatever uh, and anyway it's a really emotional song for me too but we still have many songs to go so I'll start we're moving away from the border looking for somewhere to sleep the two of us sharing the dragon Two hitchhikers slumped in their bags. I sneaked a quick look in the mirror. <laughs> she gave me a smile. I said, is anyone hungry? Should we stop for a while? So we pulled up into a lot nearby. Her dress blew up over her head. I said, would you like to come with me? She said, something foreign under her breath. And then the sun shone down on her living limbs. I thought to myself, she's much too good for me. I lay down beside her with tears in my eyes. She said, so I stood by the roadside, the soles of my running shoes gripping the tarmac like gunmetal magnets fixed on the front of her fast mind her face was the kind of smile that only a rather dull child could have drawn while attending a graveyard in the moonlight. But she was impressed, you could see that she thought I looked fine. But she was sweeter. The reason between you and me was she just seen my green Lamborghini. I think what's the matter. So we went for a spin in the country. Feel the wind in our hair. Feel the power of my engine. Feel the thrill of desire. And then in the trees, I heard a tree snap. Morning lights flashed on my map. I opened my eyes and to my surprise. There were abrupts with knives at the foot of the bed. Right at the foot of the bed. Oh my god, how did they get in here? I thought we were safe home in England. She said, Come on now, kid, it was wrong what you did. You got to admit it was wrong what you did. You got with me do what's wrong. Sleep, sleep. I know that I'm only dreaming. Through closed eyes, I see West German skies on the sea. And I want to get back to the girl with the rucksack. To feel her flexing hand. I want to be there. See the sun going down behind crop steel works on the outskirts of some German town. Burr, 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 burr. 
Guru Vinamha Ha 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 Welcome in Königsburg Ha 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 Und nun sind auf den Mitbär und Regenbär Ha 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 This young lady and I will just finish this bottle of wine it was kind of you, but I think we'll just say good night. Could I the keys to one four three please? Thank you, good night. Hello, yes, I like to order breakfast, please. I like coffee for two and toast with marmalade. No marmalade. For the first time today, I held her naked body next to mine in this hotel overlooking the rhyme. I made her mind. Oh, babe! Oh, babe! Oh. Come with me and stay with me! Oh, babe! Stay with me. 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 Forget it. Hey, go! Take up the dagger and let's have a stop at the sexual revolution. Hey, go! Let freedom for all be a rallying call. Let uh, together let's make our new resolution. Yeah, but tonight. Lie still while I blunder your sweet grave. And remember, only the poor could be saved. Hey, girl, as I've always said, I prefer your lips red, not what the good Lord made, but what he intended. Hey, Girl, don't point the finger at me. I am only a burst in a maze. Like you, only the dead go free. So please, please hold my hand as I blunder through the maze. And remember, nothing can go without rain. Oh, don't point that your finger at me. I awoke in a fever. My bedclothes were all soaked in sweat. She, she said you've been having a nightmare. And it's not over yet. Then she picked up the doggy in the window. The one with the wiggly tail, and she put him to bed between two bits of bread crunch. I'm
just covered in a corner. My pajama coat over my head. And she smiled as she finished her sandwich. And her cold eyes fixed me to my dark history. As she brushed the remains of our love from the bed. And when she had turned back the covers, when all of the prayers had been read, she said, Come on, you silly boy, before you catch your death of cold. I was only joking. Let's leave this house, you silly clown. Let's not compete. We could be fine in the country. Could be fine. Come on, let's go. I said, okay. Can we go now? Where would I go, darling? Mm, Vermont. Oh, Wyoming. One there's nothing now. Okay. Which way is one only? Ah, who could write here? Okay. Here we are, baby. Look at that sky. Let's see what we can on our way to our new life in the country. We set out in the spring with a trunk full of books about everything, about solar devices and how nice natural childbirth is. We cut down some trees and drowned our ideas from the forest glade. We dammed up the stream and the kids cooled their heels in the fishing pole we'd made. We held hands and exchanged bands practically. Lift off the map. You adopted a fox cub whose mother was somebody's cub. You fed him by hand and then snuggled him down in the grandfather bed while at work. And we go on maze and only occasionally went into town to stock up on antibiotics and shells for the shotgun that I kept around. I told the kids stories while you worked your loom and the sun went down sooner each day. Chapter 6 in which Eeyore has a birthday, gets two presents. Daddy, come on, Dad. Eeyore, the ogre duckling, stood by the side of the stream, looked at himself in the water. Pathetic, he said, that's what it is. Good morning, Eeyore, said Boo. Oh, said Pooh. He thought for a moment. Then the leaves all fell down. The crops all turned brown. It was over. As the first snowflakes fell, I realized all was not well in the camp. The kids caught bronchitis. The space heater ran out of diesel. 
One weekend a friend from the East World is so still your heart. I said, fuck it then, take the gears back to town. Maybe I'll see you around. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> and so we're leaving all our hooks and we to the wind and the rain. Taking only our stash left our litter and trash and set out on the road again. On the road again. Yeah! On the road again. And I have to admit, I don't like it a bit being left here beside this lonesome road. Lonesome road. Lonesome road. Hey kid, you looking for a lift? Get on up here. <laughs> How's it going, good buddy? I nailed ducks to the wall. Kept my heart in dark wounds. I built bungalows all over the hills. Done roaming and carrying down me. Took my girl to the country to sleep out under the moon. Next thing she's going crazy. Ooh, women are like that kid. What the hell can you do? She waits for the real Mr. Bright to come, gently removing her heart with his promises. A real communication who's always picking up the tub and does a bottle of for his mom and dad. Me, who took you out to all the shows, who worked his fingers to the bone. Me, but you are asleep. I kept you in buns and bows, Christ, all those clothes, so we could encourage this creep. With his neat feet and his clean fingernails, with his wise but twinkling eyes, his rock standing up, in the notion of doubt and compromise. I'd like to go on with this bit of a song describing this schmuck. I'd like to go on, but I'm gonna throw up. A housewife from Encino whose husband's on the Gulf, no, an angel on a Harley pulls across to greet a fellow rolling stone. 
Put his bike up on his stand, leans back, and then extends his guard and greasy on. He said, How you doing, bro? Where you been? Where you going? Then he takes your hand in some strange Californian handshake and breaks the bone. Have a nice day. Ah! I have fought from Sino, whose husband's on the golf course with this book. Ha! Yeah. Breaks makes you and then is back to take a second look at you. You flex your rod. Fish takes the hook. Ha! Huh. Sweet vodka, tobacco on your breath. Another number in your little black book. These are the pros and cons of hitchhiking. These are the pros and cons of hitchhiking. Oh babe, I must be dreaming. I was standing on the leading edge. The eastern seaboard spread out before my eyes. Jump! See the old call. Oh no, I'm too scared and too good looking. I cried. Come on, she said. Why don't you give it a try? Why prolong the agony? All men must die. Do you remember Dick Tracy? Do you remember saying? Hey, mother wants you. Could you see him selling tickets where the buzzer circles over? Shit! The body of the plane. Did you understand the music, Yoko? Or was it all in vain? The Bitch said something mystical, hero. So slip it on the curb again. Whoa! These are the pros and cons of Michigan. These are the pros and cons of Michigan. Oh, babe, I must be dreaming again. These are the pros and cons of each. These are the pros and cons of each. <sighs> Hello. You want a cup of coffee? I'm sorry. Would you like a cup of coffee? Okay, the cream and sugar. Sure. And truck stops. And hamburger joints. And Cadillac limousines. In the company of husbands. And bed bags. And sleeping forms. And steps in libraries and railway stations, in books and banks, and the pages of history, and suicidal cavalry attacks. I recognize myself in every stranger's eyes. and wheelchairs by monuments under shoot trains and commuter accidents and council care and county courts at Easter fairs 
and seaside resorts in drawing rooms and city malls and award-winning photographs of life rafts on the China Sea in transit camps under art lamps and unloading maps and faces blurred by rubber steps I recognize myself in every strange life and now from where I stand upon this hill I plundered from the pool I, I look around I search the sky I shade my eyes so nearly blind and I see signs of half remembered days I hear bells that chime in strange familiar ways I recognize the hope you kindle in your eyes. It's all so easy as we lie here in the dark. Nothing interferes. It's obvious how to beat the tears the threaten to snuff out the spark of all. Okay. <laughs>